What up YouTube, it's your boy Studio B, back here for another tutorial to show you guys on how to calculate the tempo of an instrumental within Pro Tools by using the Time Compression Expansion plugin. A lot of times I use Mix and Key to find the tempo of an instrumental, but I only find that mm, accurate maybe about 90% of the time. But within Pro Tools, there's a built-in plugin. Remember, the Time Compression Expansion plugin. What I do is, um, I'll grab the instrumental, I'll grab a two or four bar loop of the instrumental, use the time compression expansion plugin to figure out the tempo. And I'm gonna show you guys on how to do that today. Okay, you guys, so this is a song by um, this guy named Show Out. I don't know if you guys heard of Hit Me and Holla from Wildin' Out. It's his little brother. I did a song with him called LeBron James. So I'm going to run through the song just a little bit of it just to kind of show you where I'm at with it. Studio B. I'm a king just like LeBron James Waited for my time to come, look how the times change Cut that little hoe off cause she play too many mind games If that combo ain't about money, ain't got time, man I'm a king just like LeBron James Waited for my time to come, look how the times change Cut that little hoe off Okay, so you guys heard the song You guys heard it as a more melodic song um, With this song, and to find the tempo What I did was I grab the first two bar loop of the instrumental where the kick drum kick in. As you can see right here, I'm gonna play it solo. So what I did was um, I zoomed in, hit command E and hit the initial strike of the kick. And I went down here and hit the initial strike of the kick also. So, and I select it here, and I grab a two bar loop. I'm gonna play it back, and you'll hear it loop around. So, what I did was I held on to this by selecting it, the two bar loop, go to your audio, audio suite plugins, and time compression expansion plugins, the plugin I'm telling you guys about. But as default, right here where it says Tempo 120, you also see it right here in Pro Tools. Pro Tools automatically set the tempo as the default tempo to be 120. So since I grabbed the two bar loop here, where it says bars, beats, and ticks, I delete all the information that's there, all the numbers, and I put in the number two and hit enter because that's my loop, a two bar loop. And as you see above where it says Tempo, it um, calculated what I selected as the tempo. So it shows 82.5008. So what I do is I said, okay, let me just keep that there. I go to the tempo calculator right here and I put in 82.5008. Now, when I grab it and play it, the loop still is still the same. But you'll see that the grid now is almost lined up to the instrumental. Exactly. So the only thing now is we actually got to set everything on the grid. We got the tempo calculator, remember? So now what I usually do is I grab the remaining audio and select all the audio tracks by holding shift all the audio tracks that I need. And I take it off a of grid and hit Command E. And that slices everything from that point below. And I go back to the grid and I move that over onto the grid. Then I take it off a of grid again and select the remaining audio again on the left side of what I selected. As you see, I put 
the back end grid mode or I can do shuffle. Let's just do shuffle where it just automatically, as soon as I move it to the right, it just locks in with the other audio. And boom. Now we actually have a song that's on the grid perfectly according to the tempo that we put in. See how it's locked into the grid above? And it stops right here. So when I play it, you'll hear the kick drum hitting the grid every time it plays. So now the song is perfectly locked in to the grid. So when it's time for me to fly the chorus of the song, let me play it back for you. I'm a king just like LeBron James. Waited for my time to come, look how the times change. Cut that little hoe off cause she played too many mind games. If that combo ain't about money, ain't got time, man. I'm a king just like So all I have to do now is duplicate the course to the grid that I selected. And let's play and see if it lines up. I deserve me a crown. That's why I get respect on the man in my town. I'm a king just like LeBron James. Waited for my time to come. Look how the times change. Cut that Perfectly. So he also has a second verse. So I'm gonna go down here, select the end of the grid. I see that it's like a two bar space in between here and i just duplicate again and look at the audio down here for the verse so this shit lines right up again according to the grid the city and county for all my love ones and the niggas that doubt me i'm a king just like lebron james waited for my time to come look how the times change cut that little hoe off because she played too many mind games if that combo ain't about money ain't now you have a song that's catered to the tempo of that that you calculated by grabbing the two bar loop that you chose again 82.5008 is the tempo i got from selecting two bars of the beat went to the audio suite plugin that's built into pro tools went down to time compression expansion i key in two there since it's a two bar loop and i hit enter and it computed it right here. And I key that in over here to the on the left hand side where you display and you put in the tempo at. And I shifted everything to the grid. Everything. Comments, questions, concerns, need help. Please stay tuned. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here to help you guys and um show you easy methods on how to do simple things, especially for your beginners. Thank you. First time you know what I'ma do Middle of the lane, watch how I'm coming through Glock 23 on me, don't make me shoot About to take off like a young Brian on a fast break I should get rookie of the year the way I'm balling on my classmates The same time I'm a team player West side 5100 block on